Hey everyone, uh, it's Anthony and this is my video blog for IOR190E. This week we had a rejection therapy and uh, I went around Sproul and asked a bunch of girls if I could have their hand in marriage. Even asked Oski. Um, but I just kind of want to talk about the effects the rejection therapy had on me and uh, what their applications are in the business world. So uh, my first girl that I went up to, she was a cheerleader and it was right after the uh, football rally. I basically just went straight up to her, got on my knee and asked if I could have her hand in marriage. Um, I felt like she picked up on my insecurities a little bit because I was, it was pretty nerve wracking for me. I, I didn't, I had never done that before. But um, after she said no, it was pretty quick and she just walked away. But it wasn't the kind of effect I thought it would have on me. It, um, it didn't, feel that bad. So uh, my second girl went up, a little more confidence, the conversation prolonged. Third girl, I almost got to say yes, but um, I believe she saw the camera, so she was a little weirded out. Um, that was the two cheerleaders that, if you watch my videos, you'll see them. And then the fourth girl I actually got, um, I got her to say yes. And uh, she even had a boyfriend, which I thought was pretty funny and cool that I was able to convince her to. But um, uh, basically, the progression that I went through was the first no didn't phase me that much, and it kind of rolled off my shoulders, and it just kind of got easier and easier to hear the word no. I mean, in business, you don't want to just accept the word no, but um, at some points, you just have to accept it. But um, basically, it just got easier to hear it, and it didn't hurt that bad. So um, I went up with more confidence each time, and basically, I was just going to give them my spiel, and whether they said yes or no was irregardless. So I think that is totally applicable to the business world when you go up to a venture capitalist and you're given his pitch. You just got to focus on the things that you can control. Whether he says yes or no is irrelevant. Um, you just got to give your pitch. It looks like I went over my one minute thing, but uh, that's basically how I felt during the whole thing. And the rejection therapy I felt was very beneficial because it kind of dissolved away the stigma of no. It's not that bad. I mean, you're going to get denied in life and in business a hundred times out of one, so might as well go give it your all. So that's what I learned, and um, thank you for listening. Bye.